An autonomous node is a type of node that uses an LLM to determine when and in what order to execute the cards that it contains. In this video, I'll show you how to configure an autonomous node and how to combine it with a linear workflow. First, we'll need to create our autonomous node. To create this, I'll right-click anywhere in the studio and I'll select an autonomous node instead of a standard one. Next, we'll need to decide where in our existing conversation we want to place this autonomous node. In this simple example, I want my bot to be able to do two things. First, I want to make sure that it can answer any questions that my user asks. To do this, I'll enable the node to answer questions based on the information in my knowledge base by giving it access to that knowledge base. I'll do this by taking a query knowledge base card from the card tray and dragging it over into the autonomous node. This tells the autonomous node that it can answer questions based on the information that my knowledge base contains. Unlike a standard node, there's no end to this process, so the user can ask as many questions as they like in a completely conversational experience. The LLM handles the rest, deciding the direction of the conversation, what further questions to ask, and what to say next. Second, I need to provide a prompt that will tell the autonomous node what its goal is. Think of this like the direction in which you want the LLM to guide the conversation. For this example, I want to move outside of this node into a structured workflow, but only when the user has expressed a desire to make a purchase. In this instructions prompt, I'll tell the node that it should answer questions and try to upsell a specific product. So over here in the instructions prompt, I'll say, answer any questions the user might have. Your goal is to sell a specific product. Next, I need to define the conditions under which my user will transition out of this autonomous node. In this example, I want the user to move away from an LLM-directed workflow so that I can accept payment in a standardized way, but you can imagine moving the user from one LLM-directed workflow to another, each of which has different goals. First, I'll start by adding a transition card into the autonomous node. Then, I'll define the conditions for that transition. So over here in the condition field, I'll write, the user wants to make a purchase, since that's the condition I would like to identify. To make sure that this is working, I'll just add a simple path here, and I'll use a standard node that sends a message like purchase, just to verify that this is working. Now that everything is set up, Let's test it out. I'll start by sending a message in the emulator with no context whatsoever. We'll see that the LLM will determine by itself how to assist me. I'll say something like, I'd like to talk about cats. Now, my LLM hasn't been trained to respond to cats or to answer information about cats, but in this trivial example, I want to show you how the autonomous node handles a conversation like this. So in this conversation, I'll continue and I'll say something like, I'd like to know about the difference between orange and gray cats. And once again, the LLM will determine how to move on from here. So it's finding information for me based on the information contained in my knowledge base. Now I've got some more information here. Let's say I want to start moving towards making a purchase. I'll say something like, what color collar would look best on a gray cat? Now remember, my autonomous node's purpose is to upsell a specific product. So once it has more information about something I may be looking to purchase, it should be able to provide me some more information. Here, let me express an explicit desire to make a purchase. I'll say something like, I'd like to buy a blue collar. 
Now, once my LLM detects that I'm ready to make a purchase, it transitions out of the autonomous node and over to another workflow that I direct. This was a pretty trivial example, but you can imagine moving over to a different node that is also LLM directed that then guides the user through a purchase or maybe some shopping options or even making recommendations from your store inventory. Pretty cool. Happy bot building.